Hello. All right. You know what? It's been a while since I've got to play Solitaire, and I miss it, which is weird, but I really, every time, it's like I used to start playing Solitaire, and I haven't been able to in a while. Uh, it doesn't really matter where I move that to. Wow, what a weird start, though. Um, I guess this allows me to get another jack. If I could move this, I could get that 10, but I can't. Still, it's pretty good, just for just for the start. I'll take that. I can't do anything with the 8. Or the 9. But I can put that 10 down. Now, if I had that 9 now, it would be useful. Um, <clears throat> but I don't. Uh, nope. There we go. Oh, that was a double and triple. Um, okay, I can put that seven there, which is weird because there's a seven below it. Don't need another ten, but I really want that ace. Where is the other red jack? I guess I haven't drawn it yet, but I wouldn't be able to put it down anyways. Okay. Guess I have to draw. Well, I can take that. Can't put the four. Ah, man, I really would like to move some of these cards around, please. And thank you. Uh, okay, <laughs> finally get to put something somewhere, but it's when I'm done with the tech. <laughs> Okay, if I put that 5, I can grab the king, I have access to an 8, I could put the 7 there, but that's just another 8, so that's not much. It's 3, can't really do that. I really need to get that 3 out, so I can get the king. Hmm, dang, if only I could put this 5 somewhere. I don't think so. I don't think I can. I could take that 10 to get the Ace of Diamonds. That would take the Two of Diamonds. Oh, wait, that is good. Okay. So then I can do this. I think that was good, at least. Uh, I could put this King here. Get, uh, or I could put that 7. No. This 10 is actually blocked there. Which might have been a bad move now that I think about it. Can't do anything with the three. I would need a three of diamonds, which is way down there. Ugh, I don't think this is good. <laughs> I guess I could put the three down temporarily to move the ten onto the jack. At least that does something. I said temporarily. I don't actually have a place for this exactly. Uh, I need the Ace of Clubs, which is way down there. Uh, yeah. This is really unfortunate with this, like... Yeah, I just need a black 9, but what? They're both pretty deep in there. Yeah. I'm not seeing how I can do this, unfortunately. It just was really an unlucky draw. Dang. All right, I'll try. I'll try solitaire at the start every time now, because I, I think there's an achievement for winning ten times. So that's something I want to build towards. I think. Where am I now? I think I don't want to do Steed Force. I probably will eventually, but uh, I'm just I'm looking more for puzzles. So I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think I'm at Chip Wizard Professional again already. I'm going to wrap around back. Wow, just straight into it. Okay, uh, Ignition Sequencer. When run is activated, each output should activate with the indicated timing. Delays of 2, 4, and 8 cycles. Is that, that's the indicated timing, I guess. Ooh. Or, okay. When run is activated. So run is... 
activated. Oh, I see. And then after two cycles, out one starts. After four cycles, out two starts. And after eight cycles, out three starts. And then when run is off, everything turns off. If it's only on for three, we only get to see one bit of the out one cycle. If it's on for four, we only get to see two bits of the out one cycle. I see. Okay. I don't remember how this works entirely, so let's see here. I think I basically had like and and or gate or no I, I I have and and not gates but I can make an or gate. Um this is and this is not pretty sure. Okay. And then these delay things are probably what I need for this one. So I don't I just want it to be like a Okay, like for example, for out one, um, can't I just say uh, for out one, wait, to, yeah, like I think this should work for out one. Oh wait, I think I need like vias there, but I don't know, how does, does that work actually? Oh yeah, it does. Why is it? Oh, right, that's not the step button. Yeah, so that that's like... Oh, wait, no. Oh, oh wait, yeah, duh. Wait, hold on. No, that's not what I meant. Not just that, but... uh, um, 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 I need to and the voltage and the run together. Which means I need to remember how to do that. So... Bl it's blue... Okay, so... It's like this and yeah, yeah yeah okay so if run is on you can send that signal through I guess I'll need one there and then delay it by two like that that should work always now like out sh yeah out one done easy but I need out two and out three I think what I should do though, actually wait a second, can I do this? I think I can, I just need to, yeah, I think I can do this, this is kind of clever actually. So what is it, four, can't I do this? And then, and then if I want eight, I just need to keep going down this line, add more in like I feel like this should work I could be crazy <laughs> I that's I can't believe I solved it that fast okay obviously you can do it some more clever ways I, it said six by five but you can do it in a four by two really is that like how would you do that that is surprising Because it's like, when run, oh yeah, like, did I need the and? I didn't actually really need the and, so wait, hold on, <laughs> just for fun. Now that I think about it, don't I literally just need to go from run to the other ones with something in between, like, uh... Okay, well, I guess it needs to uh, start with out one and then out two. But between out one and out two, I need two more. And then between out two and out three, I need four more. So, like, like I think this would work. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't this work, or am I crazy? Ha! <laughs> you can do it with just capacitors. Okay, that's much improved. But that was two by five. You can do that in a two by four. Well, I can see how, okay. <laughs> okay, I have to try it now. How would you do that in a two by four? You would need them all. You need them all like this. 
And this would have to have four extra. This one would have to have two extra. Ooh, see, that's where I get confused. How would you... It's kind of kind of necessary for me to go like this and then up. Um, oh, like this? Does that work? Oh no, what did I do wrong? Oh right, yeah, no, I I would need to. Hmm. Okay, can I? Get rid of this. Maybe I need to do it like. There's no other way. It has to look like this, basically, right? Two by four. Yeah. Or it could be. Yeah, that's it. So, is there a way to do it like this or something? Or wait, maybe I want the most openness as possible. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's probably like this somehow. So if I want, <laughs> it's probably like this. Oh, this is funny. Oh, I, oh. Wait, yes. This does work, doesn't it? Or am I wrong? I think this might work. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, there you go. The smallest possible size you could possibly make that. Just, uh, just a 2 by 4 of capacitors. That's pretty cool. <laughs> nice. That's probably the only one I'll ever optimize here. No one's done it in six, surely. No, I would say that here, right? I would think. All right. And I guess, again, my goal is just uh, complete this column. The quality tester. This reminds me of, uh, what, what game does this remind me of? Something about it is similar to something else, but I can't put my finger on it. I think I'm thinking of another Zachtronics game, but I don't know. I mean, obviously this is like a Zachtronics type of thing, but I don't know. Something just reminded me of it, and now I forgot what it was. Out X should be high when N A and N B are equal, either both high or both low. Out X should be high. Oh, I see. When N A and and be both either both high or both low. Ah, so I can just do. Oh, I don't really want, or no, yeah, I do want and. I can do an and gate for. For one possibility, but I need like a God. What is it called? Like nand or the one that's like the reverse of and if they're both off. Oh well, hold on, isn't. This is ba that's basically how this one works. Or wait, no. Oh yeah, if they're both, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause like, if one of them is on, it can block it. Okay, wait. So, already very simply, I can just say, uh, yeah, I can just say like. that and that that should already cover um, uh, all the times when they're the same when this are when they're both high yeah all the both high sections are covered but I need the both low covered as well okay so, and uh, okay so what I'm thinking is um, Also, it's like, are capacitors somehow like useful in other like in like could I somehow use capacitors here? I just I just don't see how that would benefit me. Cause like sometimes it's really long or wait like uh, I mean I would have to like note like see like five is the longest so like I I don't know I could maybe work around that and like do something with that I guess but. But that seems really weird. I, I somehow I don't like how that's not universal. <laughs> but I could use it in them in emergencies or something. Okay, but anyways, what I'm thinking for the both off would be uh a test like this 
for both of them or no it can just be for one of so what it'll do what i'll do here um and this is where actually wait i just want to see something i can't do this right now okay so this one i'll need access to that so I, I should actually always start by like oh wait no i don't necessarily need access to that i could do it here so i'm gonna start wait i need to check i i always get confused at the direction here okay so i can always supply power to one end of the red and then i want the okay so it's like this, this is what i kind of want something like that maybe you want to move it around but something like this this can just go here and uh i think i can do this but i'll see if that's okay so basically this is this is only checking if okay yeah yeah so then i want this actually i want this signal to be anded with this or oh no, I guess. Uh, hmm, how did this work? So I, so this is just this is just always giving a signal here if B is off or low or whatever. But I need to. I only want to send out the signal if. So I only want to send out the signal if this is also low. This would also be low. I mean, I, this just is an and thing, so I can't really. Well, actually, it, it's kind of funny. Wait. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, wait. If this one's off, that means that one of these are off. Well, I guess if this one's off, then that one's lit up, but yeah, no. Okay, I can't do that. Um, yeah, I think I would just want to take one from here, also put it through a knot. Um, yeah, I'll just do it that way. Kind of funny, but sometimes I feel like okay, like I find I actually just want to lay out these guys first before I do anything because it's like that's the hardest part of working with this um, is like finding the room for all these guys because those all have to stick out. Um, but I want this to come around. Okay, wait, actually, might be easier for me to just move this here um, and slither this around. I can't do that right now. Um, slither this around to another. Um, not where kind of want it like that. I don't know if this will be enough room, but what I'm thinking is if I do like that and this and this and hmm, I'm running out of room. Uh. Oh wait, and then these two knots I would have to and together. So actually that that really Okay, I'm not sure if I can orient them like that or at least if I am, maybe I don't want to use up all this space. Cuz I want to what I want to do is throw them both both of them through uh, a knot, but I also want to put them through an 
and can I reuse that and wondering if I can reuse this and like if I can have the and used for if they're both on but also if they've both been through here no that well hmm would that cause issues? I, I feel like almost like that might work oddly enough. Like if I uh, put this on, oh really? Wait, what? What the heck is happening? Okay. What? Okay. I guess that makes sense. It's kind of annoying though. So, if I like, actually, what's the best way to do this? Um, yeah. Oh wait, here's a really neat trick. This might be it. This might be like the best way to do it. Maybe. So that, that. I think that's. Oh, wait, no, I need one of them to check there. That's not right. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I need more that direction. Shoot. Yeah, so, like, uh, it doesn't matter if it's voltage or... Oh, no, I guess this has to be the checker, so I guess I do need that there and this one here. So that's a really nice, simple knot. But can I fit another one here like this? I guess I can. It would just be like that. And like that. Now. What I'm thinking I might do actually. Is find a clever way to. Well, actually, first of all, um, let me just test that this works. So if I do, this and this and this, hopefully that will uh, work for when they're both low. No, why not? Oh, because I sent it to <laughs> voltage. Uh, So both low, yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, cool. So that worked like I thought it would. Now what I'm thinking, let me get rid of all this stuff, is maybe, oops, shoot, that's not what I wanted. I want to get rid of the vias is maybe if I could also get these signals to an AND, but get these signals to an AND I could like. So let me just, uh, let's see, and then I would do, I mean, this, is, this isn't really what I was thinking, but whatever, this might work. Oh shoot, no, I can't put it like that because I wanted to sneak out the the other one. Um, oh, um, I can do this though. Wait, no, I can't. Um, uh, okay, wait, so. This is a bit annoying. Yeah, but what I was thinking is like, maybe I actually can put the voltage through to here. The only problem is then I can't get the NA signal out anywhere else. I don't think that's much good. No, that does, that's not good. Um, 
So I'll keep that, I guess. But this would have to be oriented another way. I guess that's okay. Yeah, actually, why not just... Why didn't I just think of... Uh, like uh, this or something. That would be fine if it's like that. Um, it gets veered. This sneaks out. And then uh, similarly, that goes there. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have to be kind of careful with how this part works, though. Well, I guess... No, actually, that might be fine. So then I just need to also take in another thing there. Let me actually do this instead. Um, oh, wait, they're both red, though. Uh, might be able to make that work. That is an issue, though, I didn't really think about. Um, because, like, I kind of snuck out that signal, and that, uh, hmm. okay, so, my idea is maybe, like, this, boom, and then I just need that signal to get here. Oh, okay, I can do that. Uh, I just need to... Okay, this is... I, I, this might work? This looks insane, though. <laughs> I mean, it worked. I'm really good at getting things to work, even if it's insane and ugly in this one for some reason. Like, there's obviously better ways to do this, but... Mine worked. It, this is not going to last, though. There's going to be a point where I can't be as wasteful with space and stuff. Dual oscillator. The fast and slow output should oscillate with the indicated timing periods of two and six cycles. Okay. Like, always, they should oscillate like that. Interesting. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Oh, what the heck? That is weird. How would I get that to work? That is strange. Okay. I think I accidentally did something like this on a previous one. Because I remember something blinking a lot. But what I'm thinking here is, uh, it's crazy how little space you have. Anyway, what I'm thinking here is, uh, I need like a delay on the voltage and some, no. it A delay on the voltage just makes sense because the voltage will always be on, but a delay after it reads in the voltage on something. No, that doesn't work either. What? How does this work? Because the voltage is either it's just always on. That's the confusing thing. Oh, okay. I think I thought of it. So, okay, so if, okay, uh, God, I keep forgetting which one's which. What's and again? Is it blue with a red line through it? Okay, so if I have the, uh, yeah, I guess like this, uh, this is an and gate. It should just send the signal right through. But I want it to do something that when it sends the signal through, I need it to like come back and stop itself somehow. So how would that work? Um, hmm. 
put it through. Oh, put it through a not gate, maybe. Yeah, that actually might work. So that signal comes back. Uh, I don't know how to structure this, but anyway, it comes back like this. And uh, don't know if this will work, but we'll see. I just want to see what this does. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, yeah, let's see what this does. I'm just curious. That is not what I thought it would do. Oh, wait, no, I wanted, like, a delay, I guess. Because uh, it's instantly... It instantly just blocks that signal. Hmm. God, no, I need it to be like, and then when it blocks that signal, that does something. Hmm. Okay, wait. Let me let me start over. So maybe I need something more like I'm trying to use the keys. Oh. Uh, I need something like. This is a knot, and it can send the signal through to he here. Let me just put the vias in. Um, so it, that should be on at the very start, and it'll send the signal through. But then I want it to, like... Okay, like this or something. I want to see what this does. Whoa, what the heck? Why is it like stop there? Wait, look. Wait, why is... Can I put like two there? What? What the heck is happening? Oh, 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 okay, so... Let me see if this works. Eh, I cannot believe I got that. That's cool. So, when the voltage is on, it. So, oh, yeah. So it sends a signal to the to the not gate, and it's not. There's nothing telling it to turn off. So it's like okay, sending you out a signal. It gets delayed until this one already has sent out its signal, but then it's like, oh god, I don't know. It's kind of confusing, honestly, but I, I'm just glad it worked. But now I need to do the same thing, but for slow, where it's on for three, off for three. So would that be like the same concept, but I need to delay it three times? Okay, so maybe I need to make a more compact form of what I just made to start with. Because I only used one voltage and the fast, but I use up so much room. Uh, just thinking about how I could do that very efficiently. Okay, well already I guess. Let me let me like edit this one actually. So already I can just move this whole thing over one. But I really want to move it up more, I think. Well no, I do have a voltage here, but no, but I okay, yeah, I think I wanna like compact it to the top a little bit. Cause this one should be like using almost no room. 
hopefully, compared to the other one. Well, no, I could easily modify this to make it into the other one. Like, uh... Like, th this should be slow now, I believe, if I... I understand this correctly. I think this should be a slow. Yeah. Uh, it's just. Oh wait, can can I do? Wait, hold on. Hmm. I see. Oh, and it does need to start off, so I did do that right, too. Three on. Oh, this is actually easier to think about when it's slow. So, the voltage gets to an AND gate, but there's nothing turning it on. So, just it, there's no signal going through there. Goes to the NOT gate. Yep, well, it checks, and it's not being asked to be turned off. So, it just goes, takes three seconds, and that's where the three-second delay comes in or seconds, whatever, ticks, or whatever. Then it knots the gate. Or sorry, it ands. The AND gate sends the signal out, turns slow on. But while it's sending that on, there is a signal with a delay of three getting sent to the NOT gate, which turns the NOT gate off. And that, wow, and that cuts off the signal that was being sent to the NOT gate. That's actually interesting. I mean, I don't know how I would know this would work, but it just did, and I'm happy. Um, something in my brain understood it, I guess. Now, I don't think, unfortunately, I can really use this one, like, use any parts of this, really, for the fast oscillator. It's just... Well, I could use that first delay there, I guess, actually. But I can't use this one. Okay, but I can use that first delay. So let's do that, except this is bad. Like, that's just awful. I don't want that thing, so... I think I would flip that upside down. All right, let's do that in the third one. So let me do this, and then this, and see if that... Oh, that's not right. And this, and see if, like, take that. This also goes here. And let me just put a bunch of vias in. And, uh, and then capacitors here, here, and here. And then this is the one, this is the slow. And we also need three here. And, um, oh, no, what happened? Oh, yeah, right. No, these need to be after the fact. They need to be something more like, uh, like this would be okay. Okay, that gets slow. Uh, actually, I think I want to move this all down a bit and use that. Or I can only move it down one, I guess. But what I'm thinking is I want to take the signal. Or no, I don't think I can use that, can I? Because I need to turn off. Yeah, I don't think I can use that one now that I think about it. Shoot, how how would I how would I get this to work without just making two things? Is there cuz like I that's a delay of one there. So if I put something going the other way, it would get delayed one and then I could send the signal out to fast, but then I would need a delay of one to turn it off again. Yeah, and that just, no, that's just a whole mess. 
Shoot, I don't know how to do this other than by trying to somehow squeeze in this thing again, but with one and one. The weird thing is I already kind of like am pretty low on room here. I mean, definitely I would want to move this all down, but like I... How many am I using? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, I can't even do that in a 4x3, unfortunately. What the heck? Uh, how can I... Find enough room for this to work. Also, do capacitors? No, they don't. Ooh. Like, I can't. Hmm. Hold on. It's kind of annoying. I wonder if. Is there some way to fix that where it's like. Uh, not really. Um, hmm. is there some way to take the signal from here? <sighs> so that needs like, hmm. I don't know how I could reuse any parts from this is what's kind of getting me. Even, even like this metal here, like, how could I use that exactly? Or is there like a really simple way to just have on off, on off, on off, on off? No, I, th I think I still need two gates. Oh, or... Hold on, let me let me erase my original design. Can I just use like a not gate here? Do I not even need? Like, can I just do something like uh? Why is that working out? Oh. I feel like I might be able to use just a not gate where it sends the voltage in. And that's good, so it sends it through. But then it has a delay. Okay, I don't think this will actually work, but just to see. Oh, yeah, it's like it cuts it off. But when it cuts it off, that turns it back on. <laughs> so, like this? Oh, shoot. Oh shoot, you can do it with just a knot. That's cool. So then I can probably do this with just, okay, I only need one knot. I think, I don't think you can do this with and. Maybe you can, but I think it's easier with knot, so I'm gonna do it with knot. Okay, that's awesome. It's funny, why did I think I needed and? So, Basically, just delay it by one, and delay it by one. So is it just like this or something? Is that Does that work? Holy cow, that works. That's really simple. And then something similar here where it's like very similar. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Where, uh, again, that gets sent there, but it's a delay of three and then another delay of three. Like, I think that works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Interesting. Wow, you can do that in 15 in a 3 by 5 uh, How many pieces did I just use right here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6, 7, 8, 14. Wow. So you, you can somehow squeeze this into a 3 by 5 space. I'm only using 14 tiles, so for stuff. So I guess that makes sense, but... Man, how do you do that? Three by five, three by five, wow. I feel like I almost see how you could just do that. Oh no, I don't really know. That's really, wait, hold on. No, I think, wait, I think I counted wrong. Oh yeah, because this is four, four, eight, ten. This is 16. I'm using 16 tiles and someone did this in 15, an area of 15? the heck? How do you do that? <laughs> they reuse something? How do you... I must not... Oh, that, that makes me curious. How do you... How could you possibly... Could you use this signal somehow for the other one? Like, a delay of two... Oh, wait a sec. Oh, I got to try some stuff now. Hold on. Uh, I want to save that, though. I don't, but I can, I can get rid of this thing now. I'm so curious. That's cool that I didn't even do it very efficiently, apparently. I thought I got it, too, but there must be a more clever way. But what I'm wondering is if, let me just copy this really quick. is if I can like take the signal from here and if I delay it twice more hold on I just want to see like what, what does this do exactly ah oh, is that oh no it cuts it off oh I thought I don't know why but I thought it would like keep going and like the signal for it to be turned off would be delayed but I guess that's not how that works Dang, I was hoping that that was how it works. Like it would, it would get ahead so far, and like the signal to turn it off would be lagging so far behind. Yeah, no, ah, uh, that's a shame. I thought it'd be like, oh, I'm telling you to turn off, but you have to catch up to me, sort of thing. But I guess that's not that. That's not how this really functions. Man, I don't know how you would do it then. How could you use, <laughs> it's something to do with the reusing one or the other, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, it's like pretty clever, I guess. I don't know, man. I really don't know. I can't I can't imagine. How would you do that in fifteen? I gotta look that up at some point. That's that's kind of interesting. Safety interlock. Each output should be high when its corresponding input is high and the other input is not. Each output should be high when its corresponding input is high and the other input is not. The alarm output should be raised when both inputs are high. So this should be high if it's the only one that's high. And this should, sorry, this should be high when A is the only one, in A is only in that's high. This one should be high when in B is the only input that's in that's high. If they're both high, send out an alarm. That's interesting. This is another like type of gate, I think. So if this is on and this is off, so that, that already sounds like I need an and and a not. Cause it's like, I'm literally saying yes and not, or A and not B, right? So 
just using language kind of seems like I need this and and, and uh, this and this is only for one of them but still just to just so I get my bearings with this uh, so right no 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 that's not what I quite wanted actually uh, I need to I want this to be here so Like this, I guess. Is that the best way to do it, or maybe I could just face it down. That's probably better. And then this only goes through when that's not on. Okay, so I think this should be right for out a. Yeah, out a is good. But somehow, huh. Somehow, it's funny how it like it sends out a quick little snippet to out a, but I don't think that actually, I don't know. That must be a weird technicality. Uh, so somehow I need to do the same, but opposite with, how would that work? So. Oh wait, when when this is when this signal is low I basically want out B to be high, right? But if they're both high Why is it blinking so much? It's so confusing. So, uh, if, hmm, yeah, because I was almost thinking I could just say if not A, then B sort of thing, but that's not quite it. Is the revert, is the opposite of and a and not B, B and not A. <laughs> this this is off. Okay, this is on when A and not B. Yeah, so it's like B and not A is one of the situations, but A and b is a different one in that so if the, yeah but if they're both on it doesn't oh yeah if they're both on it doesn't send out a signal as we can see but this also doesn't send out a signal if they're both on what if okay i gotta find a place where just b is on for a bit i gotta i'm gonna zoom to the end this is just b on for a bit oh Okay. Okay. Oh, I know. Um, okay. If there's no signal here, but if there's no signal here, but A is off, I can send it to out B. So if this and not A, I can send it to B. But if that is okay i'm starting to think of something here. i might need to redesign this but uh because i'm actually kind of short of space but i might be able to actually do something clever what's the best way to do this Ooh, just notice that these are these are both red, so it's actually probably better to just do this. 
now I can sneak out this signal. Actually, I'm going to wrap this in instead of what I just did there. That makes me wonder if there's a better configuration for this. There is. I'm not really seeing it, unfortunately. Because that just looks like a waste. Like if I could have that red one. Yeah, it's almost like I would be better having that voltage there, though. Okay, I just want to see something. Kind of getting sidetracked, but I'm always interested. I mean, it's act this is like, you really do have to care a lot about space in this one. So maybe this isn't too sidetracked as I think. Uh, I mean, that does work. does help with a room a little bit. I don't need it to be this tall now. I could bring it way down if I wanted to. Which I guess, why not? Like, I think I could bring it all the way to here. Have this go up. Have this go... Ooh, that is a weird looking combo. Oh, but the voltage still needs to come out and go there. So actually, no, I can't have it that far down. At least not that far down. No, oh, no, I was going to screw it. Um, there, there. Okay, so I believe, is this out A or out B? That is out A, okay, cool. And I think I might actually, oh. Um, I guess that's fine. I, I think I'll just do this, though. I'll uh, bring this up, and then... So then this signal can come out through here. God, so what was my plan? It was, uh... <laughs> if this is off, and... What was it? And this is also off I mean if if this is off and this is on send out an alarm so off and on send out an alarm so I can kind of be like if that's off oh does this work so so if I just throw in a uh, not gate And, um, oh wait, I think I want it pointing a different way. I wish there was like a rotate button, honest. But I, I guess I can see how that's not really possible. Anyway, this is kind of janky, but just, just to test. Uh, oh wait, no, sorry, like the... This is just a test. Does that work? No, that doesn't send out the alarm. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. I want this one to go to red, this one to go to blue. This one to go to blue. Pretty sure. 
Uh, let me just see if this works. Yeah, okay, cool. So that does send out the alarm properly, which is cool. Now, I think I just want that signal. Um, Oh, I almost want like NB now, but I'm wondering if I can do it without NB. Because um, it's like, if it's not either of these, it's like I need an AND for neither or ON sort of thing, but that, that seems like a big hassle. Um... Now that I look at this, I think I should just move everything up by one. Get rid of this thing. And then that. Uh, I forgot what this looked like now is <laughs> the one problem I have. Uh. Oh my god, I'm like brain dead. I can't think of what it looked like. That went down. So this is that. Oh. Is that supposed to be the volt? Uh, that's supposed to be the voltage, isn't it? Um, all right, I'll just, I think the best solution to that is just, oh shoot, I wish that didn't destroy as much as it did. Oh. Wait, how did this? Okay, I need to. I need to undo. I, I've forgotten what everything was set up like. That's that voltage. Okay, is there like a redo? There is a redo button. So I was right to say that that's that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So okay. So that does just go there. That is weird though, that's kind of funky. I feel like that could be done better. And then, uh,. like this or what was it oh, that's not right okay let me go back let me go back to how I had it and um, I think I think I do want to move some of this up. I really wish there was a copy paste. I think I want this here and this here. And I believe I can just do this. Oh, I need NA to reach here and here. Can I? 
Oh yeah, I can do that. Then this is the alarm. And so technically I can do this. But I want I want to be able to get the N B signal um so that I can just say if B and not A if B and not A just uh out say out B high. So that's a better position. I guess pointing down like I had it originally is the best way to handle this. Uh, and then this goes like that. It just looks silly, but but that does allow me to run this one through. But I, I can't think of another uh, well uh, uh, well, what I could do is potentially this, um, just to make it look kind of nicer in a way. I don't know if that's actually that much nicer, but eh. I feel like, again, the <laughs> I want to just make this look so nice, but I, I don't think it's ever going to be really that perfect. Um, that's fine. Okay, and then let's just say as long as A is not on. Okay, I think this should work. I believe that should work. Yeah. Looks crazy. Yeah, again. Oh. Again, it's just really bad design size. The hookup. That's when I got the hookup. A bunch of us had gone on a work trip to Hong Kong. While we were there, Don led me into a marketplace full of small stalls with vendors selling all kinds of electronic gadgets. I thought maybe he was going to get some parts or something. Instead, he talked to a guy who handed him a thick paper catalog, as big as a telephone book. He flipped to the C's and found Chip Wizard Professional, cracked. The guy in the stall nodded and yelled to another guy in the back who made us a copy right there on a micro disc while we waited. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The hookup. Where was the hookup? There. So maybe there's two more. So I don't know what these two are. This is Dungeons and Diagrams. This seems like uh, this game, Chip Wizard. This is Steed Force, 20th Century Food Court, Forbidden Path. What are these two at the top then? Seems like if it goes in order, Kabu. F Wait, is there? There's not even Sawayama Solitaire anywhere. Maybe I would get a Sawayama Solitaire message here if I play enough. Anyways, I'm not gonna worry about optimizing that one. Okay, let's even get three more done. Seems like a tall order. That that was four. PWM solenoid driver. When hold is activated, the coil should be powered for four cycles and then begin oscillating <laughs> until hold is deactivated so that the solenoid does not burn out. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay. Easy. Oh yeah, I forgot I could click like that. Should have used that to my advantage instead of fiddling around before. Um okay. So three no four cycles if hold is on. Okay. 
interesting. <laughs> so I think I want this. No, I don't think I want that. I think I want um, kind of a direct line to coil, but it has to actually go through a P type. Oops, that's ah, P type and like this or something. And I'll need to wind it a bit. Or actually, no, that, that can go straight through. Okay, so I believe this should at least get the idea of, yeah. Wait. Oh. Oh no, and then when it reaches four cycles, I need some I need this one to turn off and it to start oscillating. So when it reaches four How would I do that? Like when it reaches four cycles. Turn it off. Maybe I could just have a voltage turning it off instead. And the voltage gets ended with that thing. Uh. Okay, so then, um, like, this is what I'm thinking. And then four, whatever. This is more of just a prototype. One, two, three, four. Now, That does only allow it to stay on for four before turning off. Oh wait, no, it seems to do a weird cycly thing. Why does it do a cycly thing? Oh, because it turns it off. Oh. Mm, the then I do want the voltage to go on the other end. So let me flip that. Maybe I do want this then. Three, four. Oh, wait, I think this might. No, it still has that issue of when it turns off. Well, I could do this, actually. I could do this. So I could say... I could say just something like this. One, two, three, four. So that after four cycles, it's just off. So that'll, that'll get the four cycle. Oh, wait. Oh, right. No, that's permanent, though. See, that's that's the issue is like... I don't want it permanently off after four. I just want it off after four. Oh, I need think I need to end it with holds is was what I got wrong. I mean the like the input, okay. So uh More like this. Um. What was? Oh yeah, and then um. Uh, 
if hold is on yeah then wait for okay I think this would do the thing that I was meant trying to do before yeah okay cool so that only keeps it on for four but then it just shuts it off but at least that idea is working cool okay but then I need it to be that after it shut off but what's interesting is if, if it's just completely off for a while I don't want anything else to be happening so it's not like so there's, there's a difference between that being off and it having been off for four cycles so maybe that's yeah oh wait like here one two so that's when this signal has reached there so maybe i could do something with this and that guy if if these are anded then start the oscillator i think that's or no, it can just be that signal that... Oh, wait, yeah, hold on. This is easy. I think I can just do this. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I just want a not gate. Via... Uh, I think I might need to scoot that over, actually. Uh, and then um, oh wait no no I don't think I did want to scoot that over scoot it back alright that yeah Hopefully this is right. Something like that. Shoot. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Uh, it's high, low, high. Uh, wait. Oh, so it immediately turns it on, but I actually want it to be off. On, and then... Oh, it's sending to the coil when it shouldn't be because... Wait, yeah, I thought there would be a delay. Why is it, like, instantly sending out to the coil? So, like... That, yeah, the coil's off. Oh, the coil is on. It, the coil was on for one extra cycle. It's on there. How could it be? Okay, I just want to see. What happens if I put another faster there oh there's some weird like backflow thing happening got wait what oh how can I prevent that That's weird. That is weird. What what happens if I just take away that? I'm just curious. Uh. Ah. 
So it's on here because why again? Coil is on because there's nothing turning the not gate off. This thing is doing weird things with that, but it seems to be fine. So then there's a moment when this gets through and this was on. Oh. Yeah, it's like I just don't want this. Uh, I just don't want that to. Hmm. I don't want that to go up there. So I wonder. Um. So, maybe I do need it to be like, I need to make sure the coil is off, actually, so... Like, if the coil is off and this is on... Uh, which is like, okay. Okay, let me do that then, just, just to uh, avoid some weird messiness. So, uh, as long as the coil is off. Oh, wait, no, I can just make it like that. And that's on. All right, just, I know. Oh, wait, but then, oh, I can't say if the coil is off because I'm sending it to the... As long as that signal's off, but that signal's off. Ugh. That signal's off. I don't, wait. Does this actually work in a weird way? It'd be crazy if it did, but. Oh, why am I? I don't know. Is this weird? Uh, what if I throw in one here? I, now I'm just screwing around, but ah. Uh, I actually thought that might work. Because, like, when that signal goes through, because this is off, that signal goes through. But it takes a second. It should just take one moment before it sends a signal to the coil. But when it sends a signal to the coil. Okay, so like. I think if I could squeeze in. Or wait, if I just do this, does this work? Shoot, I thought that might. Oh, it's like. Ah, again. Why is it off by a little bit? I actually thought that would fix the problem, but it just did the problem again. It's on there. Because this is on. But I want it to say off, but it. Hmm. Okay, does like this work for some reason? Oh my god, does that actually work? 
Holy cow. I feel like a genius. I also feel like I kind of guessed, but there was some logic to it. That's kind of crazy that that worked. Do, wait, do I even need this thing here then? Was this unnecessary? Uh, okay, let me just try that. Oh, okay. That was just me being silly then. So someone did this in 15, a 3 by 5 I think I have used plenty more than 15 pieces here, but I'm happy I did it. So I'm just, I'm just going to walk away from that one. I still have two more to complete the column. And I'll keep going. This has, like, been a grueling set. Even though it's, like, this hasn't been as long as some of the other ones. It's just, like, these, these involve, like, so much effort somehow. I don't know how to describe it. It's so simple, too, compared to the other ones. Like, it's really not as weird as X... And it's... Even though that has fairly simple i mean it actually has a lot more going on so i guess this is pretty simple open should be high when code two oh god code two code three and code five are high and code one and code four are low low high high uh, okay oh electronic lock oh, okay that's actually kind of fun so i need to and oh what the heck I need such a specific combo. Why is that off by a little bit right there? That's so, that's bothering me just for some reason. Um, open should be high when code two, three, and five are high. So if these three are high, it should be open as long as these are both low. So if I and together these two, send the signal out and and it with that one, Th then I'll have a signal that's only on if these three are high. Or it'll only be, yeah, it'll only be on if these three are high. Then that on signal should only go to open if these two are low. How can I check if those two are low? I guess I could have a not for both of them. And then an and after the not. That's a lot of gates. Because what is that? And, and, not not and and wow that's a lot i don't know if i could squeeze that there has to be a better way i think i can combine whoa i think i can combine some of these ideas though like i can say like uh yeah code two and code three that can just be an and that's whatever uh Nope. Like, that's fine. Those are set up like that. But then maybe I could say if code one is. Sorry. No, hold on. Let me let me do this a different way. Because I think what a better way to do this would be like if uh, so yeah that's a not gate there ah yeah so there's only a signal here if this is off and this is on which is part of the code and I can do the same thing with code 1 code 2 if 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 this is off and this is on. And then these two signals, if they're both on, so and them. Yeah, I gotta and them. Then and them. Oh wait, no, I can move that up. Let me be a little more efficient. Then and them, and then and the result with code three. I think this should work. Hopefully. Too easy. That was cool. 
again I'm not gonna try and optimize motor controller when on is activated okay sorry when on is activated motor should be turned on until off is activated in a later cycle Hint, you will need to create a circuit that can keep itself on to remember between cycles when on is activated motor should be turned on until off is activated in a later cycle oh so if you get sent an on signal Oh, everything's just a blip for on and off. If it gets sent an on signal, turn on the car. But once you get an off signal, turn off the car. Ooh. And they'll never overlap, it looks like. Okay. So once it gets turned on, it's just always on until it gets the off signal. Interest. You will need to create a circuit that can keep itself on to remember between cycles. Yeah, so. I, to remember between. To remember between cycles. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, first of all. If I do an AND gate onto an ON, like... Oh, wait, no. So the blip just needs to be enough to turn something on. How does that work? The blip turns something on. Well, actually, the motor starts on. So I guess I could just... <laughs> I guess I could just route on directly to the motor. And then if it gets told to be turned off, shut it off. So wait, actually, you know, just... This might be a little silly because I'm assuming it starts on, which just feels bad. Can basically do that. Can basically do that sort of thing, and that that'll even be right. Oh, or no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I meant to say I could do this, and it would. Oh, no, because it starts on... I see. Okay, no, I can't do that. All right, screw that. Then. So how can I... need to keep a circuit that can keep itself on to remember between cycles. Um, I need... moment to think here so I need the blip to turn something on okay I think I, I think I want the blip to turn on something to do with two different voltages maybe or, or maybe I want it to be more like if off is low, send a signal. No. No. Well, here, well, what could the blip do? Oh, okay. So, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do what I was doing at the start. Uh,. Yeah, like, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. The blip just needs to get through to start up something. Um, and, uh, uh, and, um,
Like, I just want it to be enough to start up the... Like, this one, sort of. And then, uh, or here, you know, uh, I'm just gonna do this. Or, wait, no. Uh, I've oriented that better. Yeah, let me just fix that up. Okay, so the blip's enough to send a signal out through here, but I want this signal... Um... To... Okay, wait, I'm actually thinking I want to adjust some stuff just for, like, space reasons, really. This, well, let me let me not put it so close to the wall in case I don't want it quite like that. Okay, there. So if I'm right, yeah, we get a blip there. I think I want that blip to start the motor kind of thing. So in a way that like... Uh, it opens up another thing to do with a different voltage. Um, it opens up a thing to do with a different voltage. Uh, okay, wait, hold on. Again, I'm seeing just some improvements I can make to hopefully save myself room for what is probably going to be a pretty complex circuit. Oh wait, no, not that. Okay. That blip. Okay, so that blip, I think the idea is it opens up a another thing where this voltage maybe is like Um, this voltage, just a test, it goes through now, and because it goes through, I want to send it there, so maybe I'll move this one over. So that this one's ending that one. Okay, does this work like I think it will? Yeah, look, that's just locked on now. It required... Yeah, this was off, but it's locked on now, even if on gets turned off. When does on get turned off? Oh no, now on is just always on, that's not good. because I sent the signal there. Oh, okay. That's fine, I can just swap. Um. Uh, I mean, I can't very easily, but whatever. <laughs> For now, this is fine. I think that swap will fix the, yeah, but that, ah, uh, that's kind of cool. So that kind of powered that thing on in a way where it's like psh, motor on. It's just the motor never turns off now. I need this off signal to be like, hey, 
you got to get turned off. So the off signal could be like something that disrupts this thing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So maybe it would be as simple as throwing a not gate where this Oh, okay. So like let's try this. Let's try this, except I want that to reach off, so maybe I need a different configuration there. Um, hold on. I think I'm gonna carefully th shoot. Okay. I'm gonna carefully reconstruct this. That's better. Um, I have to be silent because <laughs> I'm barely keeping up with my thoughts on this, but uh. Blue gets connected to the blue gets connected to this red and to the motor. That blue is just that voltage. This gets grouped together. And then uh, this gets grouped together. Cool. I think this should be the same as before where it just, yeah, okay, turns on and stays on. Now, I think all I need to do here, perhaps, is have a not gate. Like, what's the best way to do this? I guess like uh, this. Hopefully, does this work? Oh, I cannot believe. That is so cool that I got that to work. Yeah, all right. So it like turns it on, on, doesn't matter what on says anymore, but when it gets turned off, everything shuts down because that this was only working because of this initial voltage coming in. Oh, that was cool. I'm really happy with that. I'm really proud of that one. Well, there you go. Finish the whole column. Didn't actually take as long as I thought, honestly. Those were tougher, definitely, than the first few. And I thought I would have forgotten too much to get through that many that fast. But, uh, wow. I don't know. It was weird. I think when I ended this last time, I said... These just don't make sense to me. I, Infinite Factory was easier, but honestly, I don't know. It's it's the logic is coming to me now, and it's it's really fun. It's, it's somehow it's it's working out in a way. That motor controller was really cool. I like the concept with it. I'm really maybe I'm just happy because it it works like first try basically. But yeah, Zachtronics, cool games. All right, see ya. Thanks if you watched.